First, we're getting answers about the search for a widow's stolen Jeep. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kelly Eckerman in for Chris. And I'm Laura Moritz. Wyandotte County Sheriff's Deputy Patrick Rohr was killed in the line of duty more than five years ago. Just yesterday, the family car was stolen. KMBC 9's Andy Alcock was there just as police tracked it down in Independence. Rohrer's family did get a call this afternoon telling them the vehicle was recovered in Independence. Take a look behind me and you can see where police have found the Jeep. They are still combing through it at the moment as they gather evidence. This Jeep is no ordinary vehicle. In 2018, Patrick and his colleague Deputy Teresa King were both killed escorting a prisoner to the Wyandotte County Courthouse. As part of the healing process, the family bought a purple Jeep because Patrick always wanted one and because Patrick and his wife Sarah are both K-State alums, his favorite color was purple. We would decorate it for holidays, for Halloween and Christmas, and we would go off-roading as a family. It, it really helped us come together. The Jeep has identifiable elements to it, including stickers honoring Patrick and Deputy King. Sarah says a key reason the Jeep was found is a tip after a social media post on the Facebook page Stolen KC. Somebody from there saw the post, it was their dad who took pictures and sent it to his daughter. She messaged me and we immediately called the police and found out where it was. At this point, it's unclear how much damage there actually is to the Jeep. However, there is a tow truck here to take it away. In Independence, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. Now the Jeep has some damage, including a crack in the windshield, and part of the car was painted black, as you saw. Police still have not tracked down the person who stole it.